In the wistful tapestry of our shared television memories, there exists a hidden gem that resonates with the purest echoes of the wild. Cast your mind back to that mesmerizing moment when you first crossed paths with the life. In Times of Grizzly Adams, a timeless series that whisked you away to the untamed heart of nature's embrace. Perhaps it was a hushed evening, the flickering glow of the screen guiding you into the rugged world of James Grizzly Adams, a man who found solace and purpose beneath the towering canopy of the forest. Do you recall the scent of pine in the air, mingling with the electric anticipation that tingled down your spine? As each episode unfurled, Ah, those unforgettable moments when Grizzly and his faithful companion, Ben, embarked on adventures that blurred the lines between man and wilderness. As their camaraderie danced across the screen, did you find yourself drawn into their world? The embers of your imagination fanned into roaring flames of awe and wonder. It might have been the echoes of Grizzly's laughter as he sought harmony with his surroundings, or the heartwarming connections forged with the creatures of the wild that etched their way into your memory. Whether it was a daring rescue, a quiet moment of introspection, or the haunting melody of the show's theme that lingered in your mind, these moments of pure, unbridled connection left an indelible mark. And now, as we tread the path of nostalgia, let us delve into the remarkable tales that breathe life into the show's history. These lesser-known anecdotes paint a vivid canvas, revealing the dedication and creativity that wove this series into the tapestry of our cultural heritage. From the challenges of filming amidst real wilderness to the profound messages of kinship and stewardship that it conveyed, the journey behind the scenes is as captivating as the tales that graced our screens. So, let us journey back, dear reader, to the era when Grizzly Adams first whispered his tales of adventure into the winds of our imagination. Let's rediscover the charm that captured our hearts and kindled our love for untamed nature. Let's embrace the memories that once roamed freely, unfettered by time. For it's in those recollections that we find ourselves, once again, lost in the enchantment of the life in times of Grizzly Adams. The life in times of Grizzly Adams, a wild legacy in Utah's cinematic history, the sprawling landscapes of northern Utah served as the picturesque backdrop for the beloved 1977 TV series, The Life in Times of Grizzly Adams. Park City, Utah, became the heart of the show's production, leaving an indelible mark on both the local film industry and the legendary Robert Redford. The series' rustic charm and breathtaking scenery not only captivated audiences, but also caught the attention of Robert Redford, the acclaimed actor and director. Inspired by the show's success and the cinematic potential of the region, Redford established the iconic Sundance Film Festival in Park City. This move transformed the quaint town into a hub for filmmakers and artists from around the world. The show's theme song, Maybe, written and performed by Tom Pace, became a soulful anthem that resonated with viewers and further deepened the connection to the show's natural surroundings. This evocative melody continues to stir memories for fans of the series. Underlying the fiction of the show was the real-life tale of James Grizzly Adams, a 19th-century frontiersman and mountain man. The series loosely adapted his adventures and wildlife encounters, bringing his spirit to life on the small screen. While historical accuracy might have been stretched, the essence of Adam's relationship with nature and wildlife remained at the heart of the show's appeal. As the final credits rolled on the life and times of Grizzly Adams, its legacy lived on not only through its fans, but through the enduring influence it had on Park City's cinematic trajectory and the birth of the Sundance Film Festival. The life and times of Grizzly Adams, unveiling the complex tale behind the TV icon and the annals of television history. Few characters have captured the hearts of audiences quite like Grizzly Adams. Portrayed as a gentle soul with an unwavering love for nature and its creatures, the 1977 TV series The Life and Times of Grizzly Adams introduced viewers to a world of wilderness and wonder. However, beneath the tranquil veneer of the show lay a tapestry of intriguing contradictions that mirrored the real-life man who inspired the character. James Grizzly Adams, the man who inspired the beloved TV persona, possessed a story far more intricate than the series led on. The show portrayed Adams as a protector of wildlife, but history unveils a different reality. Contrary to his TV counterpart's noble pursuits, the real Grizzly Adams was embroiled in a world of illicit activities. Selling bear cubs and other wildlife to circuses marked just a few of the shadowy endeavors that shaped his life. 
while the TV lens focused on his gentle interactions with nature. His off-screen existence was a mosaic of shades that challenged the show's wholesome narrative. At the heart of the show's allure was its hauntingly melodic theme song, Maybe, performed by Tom Pace. This musical masterpiece not only resonated with viewers, but also garnered critical acclaim earning a nomination for a Golden Globe Award for Best Original Song. The ethereal melody and poignant lyrics harmonized flawlessly with the essence of the series, capturing its soul in mere notes and words. As with many cultural touchstones, the legacy of the life and times of Grizzly Adams proves to be multidimensional. The series' charm lies not only in the heartwarming tales of wilderness survival, but also in the enigmatic complexities that define its real-life inspiration. The show's theme song, a song that would become emblematic of its spirit, lingers as a testament to its enduring impact. In the end, the enigma of Grizzly Adams remains a testament to the intricate dance between fiction and reality, capturing the imagination of audiences even decades later. The TV series might have shaped a comforting narrative, but the life that inspired it was a canvas painted with the hues of both light and shadow. The Life and Times of Grizzly Adams, a 1977 TV series, captivated audiences with its portrayal of the rugged outdoorsman's adventures alongside his trusty companion, Ben the Bear. The heartwarming bond between Adams and Ben proved both endearing and contentious, sparking debates about the ethics of keeping wild animals as pets. Animal rights activists raised concerns, questioning the show's message about human-animal relationships. Amidst its popularity, the series faced criticism for its depiction of Native American characters, accused of falling into stereotypical portrayals. Viewers pointed to the show's simplistic representation of indigenous peoples, highlighting the need for more nuanced storytelling. With 37 episodes produced over two seasons, the show's cancellation in 1978 left many storylines unresolved disappointing its dedicated fanbase. Despite the controversy and criticism, the life and times of Grizzly Adams remains a significant cultural artifact, emblematic of its era's attitudes toward nature, animals, and storytelling. In the end, the show's legacy is a blend of heartwarming moments, ethical questions, and unfinished narratives. The life and times of Grizzly Adams not only provided entertainment, but also sparked important discussions about representation, human-animal relationships, and indigenous portrayals on television. The enigmatic realities behind the life and times of Grizzly Adams in the picturesque realm of television's golden era. The life and times of Grizzly Adams emerged as a beloved series, captivating audiences with its rustic charm and tales of wilderness survival. Amidst the rugged landscapes and heartwarming friendships, there lies an intriguing layer of hidden truths that often diverged from the show's idyllic facade. Among the show's notable characters, none tugs at the heartstrings quite like Ben, the loyal grizzly bear companion of the titular character. In a surprising revelation, it turns out that the imposing and endearing Ben was portrayed by a female grizzly named Bozo. The year 1999 marked a somber moment as Bozo, the real-life animal behind the charismatic character, passed away. To her owners, she was more than just a performer, she was family. Bozo's legacy extends through her offspring, a female cub known to possess a striking resemblance to her remarkable mother. Venturing beyond the wilds, the series introduced us to the character of Mad Jack, Grizzly Adam's stalwart confidant. Portrayed by actor Denver Pyle, Mad Jack's rugged persona found a place in viewers' hearts. Interestingly, Pyle's own acting repertoire extended beyond the untamed wilderness, as he was recognized for his portrayal of Uncle Jesse in the iconic The Dukes of Hazard TV series. This versatile portrayal illuminated the depths of Pyle's talent, as he seamlessly transitioned from mountain man to lovable patriarch. However, peering into the life of the real-life James Grizzly Adams reveals an intricate narrative distinct from the gentle image depicted on screen. In stark contrast to the show's nature-loving protagonist, historical records paint a more nuanced picture. The man behind the legend had a darker past, 
involved in illicit activities such as trading bear cubs and other wildlife to circuses. This dissonance adds layers of complexity to the persona of Grizzly Adams, prompting reflection on the duality of human nature and the stories that time often obscures. As the credits rolled on the life and times of Grizzly Adams, it left an indelible mark on television history. Beyond its scenic landscapes and heartwarming tales, the series holds a trove of intriguing narratives. The enigmatic real-life tales of Bozo the Bear, Denver Pyle's multifaceted performances, and the complex persona of James Grizzly Adams converged to illuminate a captivating mosaic of the human and animal experiences that graced our screens. As we bid adieu to the nostalgic journey through the untamed wilderness alongside the enigmatic Grizzly Adams, we find ourselves not merely parting ways with a TV series, but with a piece of our own personal narrative. The life in times of Grizzly Adams isn't just a show, it's a woven tapestry of memories, emotions, and hidden corners of our hearts that it gently unearths. Through each episode's rustling leaves and whispered conversations with wild creatures, we've embarked on a voyage where nature's harmony meets the resilience of the human spirit. The series hasn't just unfolded before our eyes, it has whispered secrets to our souls, reminding us of the tranquility of solitude and the importance of forging a bond with the world that lies beyond the walls we build. So now, as the campfire's embers slowly fade, take a moment to reflect on the moments that touched your heart, the episodes that made you pause, and the characters who became companions on your own journey. Was it the wisdom of old Ben, the camaraderie of Nakoma, or the wild beauty of the rugged landscapes that carved their place into your memories? As you revisit those cherished scenes, consider sharing your thoughts with fellow wanderers. Let's ignite a campfire of conversation where stories are traded and emotions are shared. Your voice, like Grizzly Adam's echo in the mountains, adds a unique thread to the rich tapestry of experiences woven by fans around the world. Thank you for allowing me to join you on this introspective expedition through the life and times of Grizzly Adams. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated, and I eagerly await the tales y'all bring to our digital campfire. Warmly, your name.